Mac Voices is sponsored by Smile and Text Expander, the utility that turns your keystrokes into words, sentences, paragraphs, and more. Text Expander snippets can be synced and used in any application on both Mac, iOS, and now even Windows. Find out more, including how Text Expander can work for your team, at smilesoftware.com. Hi, I'm Chuck Joyner. This is Mac Voices at AltConf in San Jose. We're at AltConf talking to some of the some of the supporters of AltConf, talking to some of our friends that are here at WWDC, and just in general having a good time. This time, I'd like to introduce you to Alex of Bugsy. He's going to explain what Bugsy is and what it offers to developers. Alex, welcome. It's good to have you. Alex Fishman, thank you very much for having me. I appreciate that. So, what is Bugsy? Bugsy is a mobile bug and crash reporting tool. We are working like a black box on an airplane. We sit there and record everything your app is doing at all times. And if there is a bug or a crash or an exception of any kind of error, we already recorded everything that led to it. So you're able to actually replay what's happening. That includes video of user reactions, touch events, all console logs, all network traffic, including to your servers as well as other servers, including body, HTTP, HTTPS requests. So you're the guy that helps the the developers write bug free software that's that's very correct yes there is no such thing as bug free software but yeah we're trying to get there yes <laughs> that's an interesting point but we can we can talk about that another time um, so is it this software that runs in a developer's environment or how does how is it structured as, as far as actually using it so developers are adding our SDK into their app using one line of code so you add one line of code and we start recording absolutely everything in the system and they deploy it both in the beta tests say and the, as well as the developer builds as well as in live apps we have have many uh, customers live in pre production in in the App Store, both Android and iOS, and uh, that helps them to understand what causes the rare and uh, difficult bugs out there, and try to get the forensic information that helps them to recreate uh, the environment in the in the wild to understand what actually caused the problem. Okay, that uh, that's really interesting to me that they can leave your tool embedded in their software when it gets released to capture the same information. That's very correct. We have many customers doing that. Okay. Does that present any kind of user issues? I, you know, in today's world, all we do is talk about security, right? So now I have a, a a piece of your code in my in my 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 production software that is monitoring everything. Mm -hmm. Is is that a good thing? Uh, of course, we're very well aware of uh, the challenges there, and we take care of, they, they take a very, very serious step to actually address that. So first of all, we automatically remove all passwords and credit cards. All the sensitive information is automatically removed. They're never even leaving the device. It's all covered properly. And on top of that, we give special APIs to our developers to address other sensitive information they file. Uh, they, excuse me, they find the, that's important to actually not reveal anywhere. Okay. What kind of pricing is there for this? Uh, what does it cost developers to implement it? It's free to start and to play with that, and then it's we charge proportional to the user base. So you know it's entirely free for the entire team member. You can add all all your team members. You know your entire development team, QA team, a product managers. You know, and the, then we charge proportional to the monthly active users of your app, and the, it starts with ninety nine dollars for ten thousand users, and then it goes every hundred. Hundred thousand users, ninety nine dollars, and that's it's a, so it's a subscription based kind of that's thing. Correct. That's correct. And and the the all this information is captured into a log on the local machine, or is it transmitted back to the developer? It's transmitted to the server where the developer gets a notification via email, Slack, Jira, or whatever the backtracking tool they're using. The website where we send people to sign up or learn more. Yeah, thank you so much, Bugsy.com. Thank you, Alex. Thank you. Good thank to have you. So you. Thank you so much. Folks, more from AltConf at WWDC in San Jose. I'm Chuck Joyner. This is Mac Voices. Visit macvoices.com for show notes, links to subscribe, and to connect with Chuck on Twitter, Google+, Facebook, YouTube, Vimeo, SoundCloud, the Mac Voices blog, the Mac Voices Dispatch, our weekly newsletter, and on Mac Voices Magazine, free on Flipboard that helps you do more with your Apple tech. Advertising handled by Backbeat Media at backbeatmedia.com. Bandwidth provided by Cashfly at cashfly.com.